Okay, I'm probably gonna delete this, but I can rant at the camera anyway, because why not? It's just you and me, right? Happy Sunday, everybody. It is Sunday, March 14th, 1.06 p.m. Uh, we've just spent the morning sort of lazing around and having coffee. You know, it's such a switch from yesterday where it was so bright and sunny and warm. We actually had windows open and the furnace turned off. Today it's gray and gloomy and we both have umbrellas because it's frizzly. It is Monday, March 15th. Um, it's still AM, it's like 11, 11 something, hold on. 11.22 AM. Anyway, we're back home, Bob's gonna work on his car. I'm gonna fiddle around the house and in the art room and I'll be back. Good morning, everybody, it is 8.35 a.m. My car clock is still on. Um, and obviously we're in the car and it's freezing cold in the car. I think it's like 28 degrees or something outside. Anyway, um, it's supposed to warm up today, but it's not warm yet. And I have to go run a couple of errands. Then I've got my doctor's appointment. And then... If they don't take expired medications at the doctor's office, then I've got to go try to find a place. So, because I've got to do two, then go home, and then I can finally have coffee and lunch. Because, yeah, I have to have blood work done, so it's a fasting thing. Hey guys, so it's one o'clock, it's just after lunch. It's still Tuesday. And the doctor's appointment actually went pretty good. Uh, of course, we're waiting for the blood annual blood labs to come back, so we'll see what they say. But overall, the doctor basically said, keep doing what you're doing, keep walking, keep losing weight. We may be able to start lowering some of my medications. So, uh, yay. <laughs> that encourages me to keep going and keep doing what I'm doing. And so in that vein, I'm gonna go get some steps in by myself. The husband's course working and later on we're going to the grocery store so while well, that'll garner me some steps it won't be like going out for a neighborhood walk which we're going to do right now also one more thing i know you want to make your art and your family a priority but you can't do that if you don't make yourself a priority first so do that take care of you you can't take care of the rest if you're not here to do that right if COVID's not taught us nothing, it should have taught us that. All right, I will be back.
Good morning, everybody. It is, what day is it? <laughs> Wednesday morning, just before 10 a.m., March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, I think. Anyway, I'm about to go live, um, hence the view. Um, I'm sitting at the table, I've got the webcam up here. Um, we are going to work on some, 
I've got a couple of these pads of primed canvas. They're already, it's the canvas fabric like you find on a stretched canvas and it's already been primed. This one's primed for acrylic, this one's primed for watercolor. I don't remember exactly why I got them. I think I just wanted to try them. And I've had them for a while, but now I'm obviously not gonna use them because I still have the pads. I think what I'm gonna do is over the next few days um, or a couple of weeks, I am going to paint each piece of the fabric um, and or collage on it, work it up. I think I'm gonna turn them into journal covers and then the journal covers um, will be um, made into journals and I think I'm gonna list them for my in my Etsy shop. I may just list the flat pieces of fabric, AKA journal covers in my Etsy shop without paper in them. And then you all can make your own journals out of them. What would you prefer? So leave something in the comments below. I'd love to know. All right, we are gonna get started on this and Yeah, we're gonna get some painting done because there's some drama going on in my family and I think I need to just get some painting done so and then go for a walk later. So anyway, all right, I'll be back. Okay, I've spent the afternoon after the live. Well, first I made two masks because a friend of my daughter's and son-in-law's um, let them know he needs masks and they're gonna actually see him this weekend. So I made two masks for him. Then I made some um, egg bites. Starbucks has what are they called? Are they called egg bites? Yeah, Starbucks has a, I guess, a food item that's called an egg bite. It's a little round, like, thing of scrambled eggs, basically, and stuff in it. And I thought that was such a good idea for um, something for breakfast or lunch um, that I could um, have in moderation and I could sort of portion out and um, make with um, fresh ingredients that I like. And so I've made... I, kind of cobbled together a couple recipes and altered a couple things. I came up with basically my own recipe. So I'm gonna type it up and I'll link it below for you all if you wanna try it. I was able to get 12, 18 egg bites out of the one recipe. And then I also had some of these uh, vegan um, sausage patty things that I browned up, which I'm gonna put in with a few of the egg bites and I'm gonna be portioning them out and they will be a um, breakfast for me. And let's see, what is one serving? Uh, they're about 183 calories per egg bite, maybe-ish. I'm going to figure it out exactly. And if I can, I'll put it on the recipe. Um, and so I'll put one little egg bite and then the little vegan sausage patties are 80. So that's not too bad actually. Um, so I'm going to bake this other batch, 19 minutes to go, and um, then let them cool and then portion them out and put them in the freezer. And then all I have to do is um, pull out a little bag with a bite in it and maybe a sausage patty and put it, in, pop it in the microwave and warm it up a little bit and have that with my coffee. I love that idea. All right, so we're gonna do that. I've got some lavender, dried lavender I need to get rid of. It's just been hanging around forever and um, I did all the dishes, cleaned up after myself. Yay. Uh, I think I, I think I have time to sit down and watch YouTube. I think. All right, I'll be back. I think they're looking for dinner. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday, March 18th, I think. It's just after 9 a.m. We are waiting on the contractor to show up. He is going to start work on installing our new laundry room sink, finally. First of a few things we're gonna have him do. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna basically hide upstairs while he's here. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be good. I can't wait to get the laundry sink installed. The egg bites turned out great. The husband even likes them. So that tells you something. And okay, all the dishes are in the sink, ready to go. I don't feel like emptying the dishwasher at the moment, so I'm not going to. Um, I'm gonna do a couple things down here in preparation for him coming. And then when he gets here, we'll just be um, working on those canvas pieces we were working on yesterday that will be future journal covers. 
and then looking at my paper stash of papers that I bought to try um, that I don't need and or I'm not going to use for one reason or the other, not because they're bad paper, um, or I'm not going to use for their intended use because sometimes they make great mixed media paper, but maybe not great, say, watercolor paper. So, um, and those are the papers that are going to be the pages in the journals. And as usual, when I make journals, I always end up falling in love with one or two. So one or two will probably end up in my stash before they go in the Etsy shop. Like, you know, it's a thing. <laughs> anyway, all right. That's how my day is working out so far. How about you? I hope you're having a good one. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is quite the day. <laughs> Got my blood work back from the doctor and everything is good. My blood, my blood glucose was good. My cholesterol was good. I am medicated for that, but it was good. It wasn't good last time. So she was wondering about upping the medication, but I got it under control. So yay, we don't have to do that. Um, as you saw, if you saw this clip, I got some more work done on those pieces of canvas I found in my closet that I was talking about in the last live broadcast I had. And I think they're done now and ready to be made into journals or something, so. Good morning, everybody. It is a bright, partially cloudy, semi-wet day. Can we have all those at the same time? Yes, we can in Oregon. <laughs> anyway, good morning. I hope you're having a good one. It is Friday morning. March 19th, I think. It's about 9 a.m., just after 9 a.m. I'm headed out for a quick walk by myself to go get some steps in. I'm gonna be playing shuttle service to and from the airport today with a couple different groups of people. Um, for those that aren't aware, both my mom and Bob's mom have both been poorly recently and struggling with their health. My mom's 80, Bob's mom's in her 90s, and so, We've been trying to check in on them as much as they'll let us. You all with senior parents know exactly what I mean. Um, on a regular basis, but Bob and Rebecca, because of COVID, haven't seen Bob's mom in a long time. And it's most important that the two of them see her. So I'm staying here to watch the dog and they're flying to California to go check on her and Bob's brother. There's some other stuff going on there. I won't discuss, it's not my business, but anyway. So they're gonna check on the family Prayers would be welcome for all, all involved, if you're so inclined. Um, anyway, so they're gonna go do that. Polyus has some commitments that were already pre-ranged quite a while ago uh, for this weekend too. So I will be puppy sitting overnight. Bob and Rebecca will be back tomorrow. It is just a quick trip, but I'll be puppy sitting overnight. And, um, I'm not super comfortable walking the dog by myself. So I'm gonna go for a walk before I get her now. And maybe a quick 
walk after I do the first trip to the airport by myself. And then I'll have at least today's steps in. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go do that. I'll bring you with me where I can and I'll be back. All right, we are on our last leg of the two trips to the airport that I had to do today. And then we're gonna go home and I don't have to do this again until tomorrow late afternoon. I only have to get me in the car there because I'm going to make Bob drive us home. <laughs> Everybody. It is Saturday morning, March 20th, I think. I don't know what time it is, to be honest with you. I think it's after 10 a.m. No pull. I'm attempting to take crazy pants for a walk by myself. I know it's probably a really bad idea and it's raining outside, but we're going to go for a quick walk and see how far we get. I'm going to have to keep her on a short leash so she doesn't pull me over So, and concentrate. So I doubt I'll get too many pictures, but we'll see. I'll be back. guys, it is Saturday afternoon. It is 3.59 p.m. Do you know what I've done this, this afternoon? A whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> I got some chores done that I needed to get done, like feeding my sourdough starter and laundry and stuff like that. And then you know what? I binged to watch Star Trek. All of Star Trek Picard. I'm done. And now I'm on Star Trek Discovery. So I'm going to go to the airport now and pick Bob and Rebecca up. All right. And then, anyway... I'm gonna go deal with traffic and get to the airport and I'll be back. Fun fact, everybody, it's 7.41 a.m. Sunday morning because I forgot to close the vlog last night. <laughs> Between everything else that's going on, um, I just, yeah, I forgot. Um, Bob's mom is, quick update, Bob's mom is doing much better. She's recovering very nicely. She's a very strong-willed 92-year-old woman, 92 or 93, somewhere in there. Anyway, very strong-willed woman. Um, there's a few other things going on with the family health-wise I won't get into publicly, but they're doing well, too, um, in Bob's family. Uh, my family, on the other hand, isn't handling things so well. My mom's fallen a couple more times and hurt herself a couple more times, and so I don't know what's going to happen with that. There's lots of discussion going on right now. It's getting to be too much for my dad, so um, I guess we'll see. Anyway... We'll get it done right together. All right, that's it for this week. I hope you've had a good one. And if any stress, stressful situations have come up that you've handled them with grace, and if you can, you can't always, but if you can, um, and conversation, um, that you're doing well and big hugs to you. I feel you. Anyway, <sighs> breathe. Breathe, do art, turn off your devices, go for a walk. All the things that I've been telling you for weeks. It does help. All right, that's it for the moment. I want you to remember to take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask. I know things are improving a bit or they seem to, but please don't forget to wear a mask and sanitize your hands and all that stuff. Support the free content from your favorite creators when you can. 
whether it's shopping in their Etsy store or they have a Patreon or a PayPal tip jar or whatever it is, check out their video description. It's probably listed down there. Mine is, there's a link tree list of links down there. My link for my art foamies that you can buy is down there, all of that stuff. So check it out. Um, don't forget to, oh boy, I need coffee. Hello. <sighs> don't forget to go out and, uh, well, like, share, and subscribe. That would be great. But don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. That's what the walks are for. Take care of yourself, clear your brain. Then you can get back to the stressful stuff. Don't forget to take care of yourself. You can't take care of everybody else if you aren't taking care of yourself first. All right, that's it for this week. I'll be back. Bye, guys.